Plate Full of Color by Georgia Perez. Rabbit Hopping Around. Rain clouds were starting to roll in over the village. Dark sky. Rain that dances looked at the sky as he ran to the center of the village. Puts hand out. He was meeting his friends, Thundercloud, Simon, and Little Hummingbird. Leaves swirl around him. Simon had just moved into a home not far from the village. Little Hummingbird lived just across the river. It may rain today. We may not have much time to meet the great bird. Rain that dances waves to friends. Then Rain that dances saw his friends. Hi, we better hurry before the rain starts. I cannot wait to meet Mr. Eagle. Me too. Children waving to Eagle and Rabbit. When they got closer to the tree stump, they could see Mr. Eagle. They could also see a rabbit with them. We are here. The great bird flapped his wings with joy. The rabbit hopped around the tree stump. We are happy to see all of you. Today, Miss Rabbit will tell you many things you can do to stay strong and healthy. The children quickly sat around the tree stump. They listened as Miss Rabbit began to talk. Have you ever heard your grandparents speak about Mother Earth? Little Hummingbird raised her hand like she did in school. My grandmother has told me many times that I need to take care of Mother Earth. Your grandmother is a very wise woman. You have to take care of Mother Earth because she gives us many gifts. The children looked at the rabbit and then at each other. Butterfly enters. Simon raised his hand. What do you mean by gifts? Yeah, what gifts? Children sit in circle around rabbit. Mr. Eagle tells you how you need to play and have fun and keep your body moving. You would not be able to do that if you did not have Mother Earth to walk upon. That is a gift. Walking and running on Mother Earth helps keep your spirit strong. Then the rabbit hopped over to a flower that was growing by the children. You see this flower? This flower is a gift from Mother Earth. She grows flowers of many colors for you to enjoy. What else does she give you? The children looked around and saw the trees and the grass. I guess she gives us things that grow. You are right, Rain Dat Dances. She also gives us food to eat and water that helps the food to grow. I want to tell you about these foods now. Now farmland. What do you think I eat? I know. You eat grass. You eat carrots. I have seen you in my grandmother's garden eating the carrots. I've seen you in the garden too. At that, Miss Rabbit laughed. <laughs> I guess I have eaten from many gardens in the village. I eat from the gardens because I want to stay healthy. I also like what grows in the gardens. I will not eat things from the garden. Those are for a rabbit. Now Miss Rabbit hopping around garden. Miss Rabbit hopped around and then she stopped. The fruits and vegetables that grow in the garden are food for you to eat too. They are very good for all of us. Let's think of what is in the garden. What is growing there? Carrots, green beans, Squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, corn, and watermelons. You are right. I have eaten many of these. And what else have you seen growing? We have apple trees in our yard. Mm, my grandmother has wild strawberries and grapes growing in her yard. Mother Earth grows the fruits and vegetables for us to eat. Have you eaten many of these fruits and vegetables? Now near tree stump. I have. <laughs> Me too, especially the strawberries. I like to eat corn. Thundercloud did not say a word. Miss Rabbit and Mr. Eagle looked at him. He had his head down. You do not eat any of these things? I eat some fruits, but I do not like vegetables. And I do not eat vegetables that grow in the garden. My mom gets vegetables from the store. Miss Rabbit hopped over to Thundercloud. You can get vegetables from the store, but first, the vegetables have to grow in someone's garden. Miss Rabbit comforts Thundercloud. Just as Mother Earth gives us flowers of many colors, she gives us fruit and vegetables of many colors. Carrots are orange, squash is green or yellow, tomatoes, apples, and strawberries are red, grapes and plums are purple, green beans are green, cucumbers are green, Pumpkins are orange. Butterfly changing color with each described. Why are we talking about fruits and vegetables anyway? Because it is important that growing children eat enough fruits and vegetables every day to grow strong. You told us that you do not like vegetables. 
Have you ever tasted vegetables? No, I don't think they taste good. I just like the other food my mom makes. You will never know how they taste unless you taste them to find out. Can I ask you to take one bite of a vegetable to taste it? <sighs> okay, I will try. I want to be healthy like my friends. Miss Rabbit holds empty plate. Pick out vegetables of different colors and try one at a time. You may find some that you like. After all, different colors have different tastes. Does corn taste like carrots? No. no. Eating all kinds of fruits and vegetables is good for all of us. But how can we eat that many fruits and vegetables every day? Yeah, how can we do that? Yeah, how? You can eat fruits at breakfast and fruit and vegetables at lunchtime. You can have a fruit or a vegetable for a snack and you can have them for supper. Think of making your plate full of color. It will get easy when you do it for a while. Every time you eat can be a time to eat a fruit or vegetable. Children dancing and clapping. You are right. I like to eat all the time. For a snack, I can eat some strawberries instead of a cookie. I can eat sliced cucumbers instead of potato chips. I can eat grapes or plum instead of candy. Thundercloud stayed sitting down and did not say a word. Mr. Eagle, Miss Rabbit, and the children looked at him and Rain That Dances asked him, What can you do to eat a vegetable, Thundercloud? Thundercloud stood up slowly. He kicked the dirt and smiled. I guess I could try to eat some carrot sticks. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can do it. it. Yes, you can. Now, you better start for home before the rain begins to fall. Come back tomorrow. I will tell you more ways to stay healthy and strong. Goodbye, and thank you, Mr. Eagle and Miss Rabbit. We will be here tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. We will be here tomorrow. Everyone waves goodbye to each other. Now Eagle appears talking. Join us as we learn more about being healthy and strong in Tricky Treats.